ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the Weather Extreme video, direct from Mount Chiha. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters with you for this edition. And let's get right to some Skycam images and what a beautiful last weekend for May we're about to have. There's the Decatur shot looking over the Tennessee River with uh, some bright sun this morning. There's the view from my location where we do have a few clouds. You can just barely see the tower on top of Mount Chiha sticking through a little bit of uh, early morning fog and stratus this morning. And then one last shot down in Trustful and once again in the valleys we can see a little bit of that stratus, uh, well fog primarily. Uh, with the moist ground. Here's a look at the surface uh, image and of course you can see a good deal of fog being reported. Uh, those little dashes in there. High pressure is uh, firmly established over the southeastern U.S. the front off the east coast. In the upper atmosphere you can see we're under northwesterly flow which is fortunately drying things out just a bit for us. We'll take a little closer look at the satellite in just a minute. There's uh, temperatures across the United States and very very mild as we see mostly 40s, 50s, and 60s. The only place it's pretty cold is up in central Canada which is just about usual for this time of year. Looking a little closer to home, you can see temperatures generally in the 50s. I know it was 57 when I left the campsite this morning at uh, my location in Mount Chiha. A little closer look and we can see some of the fog showing up, especially in the valleys uh, across the Cumberland Plateau and uh, up into the Appalachians. Uh, they're not showing up quite as well, but some of that fog uh, is certainly present here as we look out over the valley uh, below Mount Chiha. QPF wise, it's going to be fairly dry for the next several days, but by the middle of the week, we expect to see some showers and that will be responsible for a little bit of rain, but not widespread like that graphic would suggest. Slight risk of severe weather across uh, the Ohio River Valley to today and for day two and three, we're going to see uh, that risk move a little bit further to the north. And hurricane season starts in just a couple of days and of course we've already had a tropical depression and uh, nothing going on at this moment. All right, here's the 06C GFS model run. And uh, this is uh, the 500 millibar pattern for tomorrow. And you can see that northwesterly flow keeping us uh, fairly dry. But one thing about northwesterly flows, we have to watch any little weak disturbances that might occur in them. By uh, Monday, that flow has become pretty zonal, especially for the southeastern U.S. in the upper atmosphere. And even on Tuesday, it stays that way. So we expect it to be dry through Tuesday. And uh, by Tuesday, you can see a front approaching from the northwest and uh, the north and northwest across the central uh, plains of the United States. Uh, the pattern begins to sharpen up just a little bit, but it never gets very, very sharp, and that will drag the front down into the Ohio and Tennessee River Valleys. And so by uh, Wednesday, we need to introduce the possibility of showers, but I think this is going to be primarily a diurnal thing uh, with that boundary coming close. The boundary stays with us and settles in a little closer on Thursday, so maybe a little better chance, a little wider coverage uh, on the showers and thunderstorms by Thursday afternoon. Uh, the ridge to our west builds back a little stronger on Friday, and that should uh, help to uh, dissipate the front that's in our, uh, in our area. And so we should see the, the front dissipating, but we still expect on Friday to see some showers. By Saturday, another front is approaching, and that should help to dry us out as uh, the main focus is uh, both north and east of us. Uh, the... Uh, map by Sunday shows that the ridge has uh, nosed in from the from our west uh, over Texas and it's nosed in over the southeastern US and that should help uh, to keep us uh, in a pretty good uh, position with primarily uh, showers and thunderstorms to our north. Now let's uh, very quickly get out into voodoo country and uh, the westerlies remain pretty far to our north and uh, with that we see the fronts coming down into the Ohio and possibly Tennessee River Valleys uh, but nothing of any significance showing up in the long range. Well we certainly appreciate you tuning into the Weather Extreme video. Expect to have another one posted bright and early tomorrow morning or at least by 8 a.m. which is relatively bright and early when you're out camping at Mount Chiha. In the meantime, hope that you have a great weekend and Godspeed. Weather, 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 weather.